And hey guys, it's Robert. Uh, just wanted to show you um, some techniques for, um, you know, kind of repairing or keeping together some uh, goalie equipment. Uh, I, I bought some goalie pads and gloves um, on eBay used. And, you know, they need a little TLC. Nothing is really wrong with them, majorly wrong or anything. Uh, but they do, do need some stitching and, you know, some reinforcement in certain spots. So um, I'm not a professional at this, uh, but I do, you know, kind of take care of my own equipment. And I do know how to what's called hockey sew. So, um, you know, there's different techniques you can use just to save your equipment yourself. Um, you know, you don't have to throw it away and uh, certainly you can help it last much longer uh, if you do some of these and I'm not going to show you that much in this first video but just you know kind of the condition that the uh, equipment is in to start with um, it's really nice equipment um, and yeah just needs some TLC some stitching you know maybe some reinforcement in spots so all right so here's the main component of what we purchased it's uh, Reebok um, goalie leg pads and they're actually really nice. I own a pair just like this almost already. So there's your um, GP RBK 8K Senior and they're 37 inch. I have, I'm kind of taller, I'm about 6'1", so um, 37 inch is actually the exact right size for me. Um, you know, I can wear 36 as well, uh, but 37 is perfect for me. Um, so, just wanted to show you some of the condition of these. Um, actually, the back is, is pretty good. You know, where your leg goes is actually really good. Some of the fraying and some of the, um, you know, repair or things that we're going to just tighten up are on the sides or the inside of the leg. So, that's what goes up against the ice quite a bit. You can see down here at the bottom. Again, they don't really need, um, you know, repair per se. That might need repair, you know. But what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten these up um, with some stitching, and uh, you could play in them like they are, you know, no problem. But I like to kind of, you know, get get things together real nice. Here's the other one, and yeah, you can see the inside of the leg is where they need the most work so this is right what goes along the ice when you do the butterfly Let's see if i can show you properly so here's your leg pad you know you're skating around when you do the butterfly you're going to go down this way so that's what's on the ice so that's why it's coming apart and again i own a pair that's very similar to this and again these are in real good shape you can see some more fraying and you know some stitching that needs to be done you know in this area you can see you know the padding inside there so we're just going to do a little stitching and uh you know kind of reinforce a couple of spots here on these and again you see the bottom that's where the most wear is um these almost kind of look like maybe somebody used them um for ice hockey and then this almost looks like they might have used it for street hockey um you know because it's frayed like that you wouldn't get that on ice so it's robert we're just going to take care of these and uh give you a shot of the glove too again it's you know some fraying of the uh, material and again i'm guessing you know these are used for ice hockey and then maybe used for floor hockey or street hockey and that's where they got the um, you know the fraying or the damage this is actually in really good shape um, other than this one spot and uh, I can tighten that up with some stitching quite easily um, the rest of the gloves in really good shape uh, it's torn just a little bit here so I'll stitch that up that's leather so you know no problems no worries there and uh, it's 8k which is kind of a you know a nice uh, level of Reebok pads. Um, this is something that happens all the time on uh, the blocker. Uh, and all I do with this um, is I just wrap. This is the uh, pointer finger. 
uh, and it always frays there and these always fray there all I do is I just put um, white hockey tape around there um, around you know this one I'll put it right around there again just using white hockey tape and I've used it with tons of uh, blockers and it works great um, again you see some of the fraying on, on this piece you know I'll just tighten it up a little bit and you know we'll kind of maybe show you a before and after uh, and again I'm not a professional um, at this uh, but I do know how to kind of save equipment or keep it working longer um, and it's really fun to do you know you can get some great gear and uh, paid you know very little money for these um, and they're actually really valuable pads so um, I'm really excited about it and we'll show you kind of uh, the next video some of the things we repaired